We gon' make you press replay. This is Swiggles World. Welcome to the heat wave. I'm a shepherd. I don't sleep for the sheep lay. 3X, nigga. All we do is work slay. Then we let the fucking birds play. And I'ma tell you, bitch, you need to shut up. Shut up. She listen with the court saying, roll my weed, bitch. Roll my weed. Roll my weed. Yeah, yeah. Say, roll my weed, bitch. Roll my weed. Roll my weed. Roll my weed. Yeah, yeah. My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. We just joking around. Bro, we are back. This is Adventures of the Black Nerds. Consistency is key. President and accounted for. I'm mm-hmm. Baron Jason Seven. I'm T. Jones. Man, it feels good to be back. I know last yes, week we yes. was back, but now we back back. Like we here. Like back times two. Yeah. Back. Mm. back. Back, back, back. Uh, move it. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, just to, just to give a heads up, we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff that's probably already been talked about a million times mm-hmm. by a million people, but you haven't heard it from us. So it doesn't matter. We need our opinion on it. Our thoughts matter. What they really do. Up uh, was heard. Key keynote. Don't forget to turn your phones down on silent or vibrate. Vibrate away from oh, your mic. Yeah, because yeah, that's bad. all you need to hear. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, so there's there's a clip of uh somebody clip king of the hill and it's hank walking to the bathroom okay play it oh. play it in the mic so people can like oh, i don't know if i can play it i don't want to get us cut down let me see i it should be within the terms of service it's like less than three seconds or something like that oh oh listen he played this and literally i turn my i turn put my heads my headphones on just for that part literally oh, i put my headphones oh, I on and i heard it i think i lost it hold oh, okay. on well, look, folks, it just, it's beyond greatness. It and, was... oh, I'm about to bust. <laughs> <laughs> we I've legit listened to that. Like, Every time I see it, I listen to it for a good 20 times. Listen, it's, but that's how we always are with like specific things, like the, like the biggie thing. How many times oh. have you watched that just randomly? Oh. God, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's DJ Cap. <laughs> DJ Cap. He keep messing with my music. How mad do you have to make somebody to get your DJ? There's nothing but electrical equipment. Bro. And they throw a full he water bottle. Water water water. <laughs> I'm about to ruin this whole man's career. <laughs> I wonder when, where's DJ Cap. Can somebody please look up his social media? Please, where is DJ Cap at? I actually want to interview him. Like, I, 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 I want to. I want to ask, him, like, how did it feel to get hit by Biggie's water bottle? Like, bro, were you fired after that? Like, where did your like, career go after that? Like, where like, does it you, go? <laughs> no, yeah. what made it hilarious was C's laughing. C's oh, was on bro. his knees cracking oh, up. For, the, for those who don't know what we're talking about, this it looked like Summer Jam. Biggie was on stage, and the DJ kept messing up his track, his track list. And Biggie got so mad after the third time of this dude messing up that he legit chucked his water bottle during Summer Jam. And you know Biggie big and he sweat, so you know he was thirsty. He chucked his only source of water on stage at this other grown man. Bro, listen, for everybody listening, if you're at a computer, phone, anything, go on Google and type in Biggie. That's Biggie with the IE, DJ Fail. And click on any one of the videos. Any of the videos. And you'll, the you'll thank us later. It was just, but no, we'll legit send videos to each other and just sit there and laugh and be laughing. So I was up in Oakland. I was up in the town. Shout and, out the Rams. Yeah, and I seen a random uh, Boondocks episode. Uh, and Uncle Ruckus came up talking about I pulled out my violin and it only plays <laughs> sad, sad, sad songs. songs. <laughs> we, okay, you all got to understand when it came to the boondocks, we were in high school. Every Sunday, we could not wait to watch the new episode of the boondocks mm-hmm. and then come to class tomorrow and be cracking up about whatever we watched. And Uncle Ruckus was always a staple of comedy in that show. So much so, He's the only character that still has current information going up. Like, they put up tweets. Like, the main actor, yeah. I forgot his name. He puts up tweets and videos, like, acting as Uncle Ruckus. Still. There's a whole character based around yeah. him. Like, with his yeah, Instagram. Like, I think that's what you were talking about, his yeah, Instagram and they, Twitter. They, social media and everything, because he is freaking hilarious. Very racist. I probably won't talk too much specifically about the things he do on, his, on this show. But he, he gets it in. 
Uncle Ruckus don't play, no relations. And I just found out that we don't know his real name. We don't. His name is Uncle Ruckus. Or. Or. Also known as Uncle Ruckus, no relations. No relations. That's it. No relations. I only got, I pull out my violin and only play sad. Hey, bro, there's a, you can get hip, you can get Uncle Ruckus gifts. (laughs) See, that, bro. (laughs) Let me, let me tell you, one of the funniest things I've seen Uncle Ruckus do was when he legit shot put at the brick at Barack Obama. (laughs) (laughs) That that was the funniest thing. He said, you say, yes, we can. I say no, we can't. <laughs> and he just legit with perfect form. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, like, we gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you, like, and you know why I like real talk when it comes to people being racist. I respect people like Uncle Ruckus. Like when you're that racist, it's beyond everything. Uncle Ruckus is the type that it could be the end of the world. And he still ain't gonna deal with no random <laughs> He's black. Still people. gonna keep that same <laughs> energy. <laughs> he gonna keep that same energy. Bro, I gotta he could be surrounded by zombies, but the only people to save him would be black people, and he would not take the help. Bro, listen, I'm, the Boondocks was pure gold because any any gift, any gift that has the Boondocks in it is hilarious. Each moment was hilarious. <laughs> Man, I just. You, it was pure. It, that was pure TV. I oh, wish did they you see? Did you see the the Naruto uh, the Naruto fight scene with uh, Sasuke and I forget the chick's name, but they literally it literally was the same fight from when the when the old people came to. Yes, uh, you yes. seen that one? That was dope, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, the hater, the haterocracy. Exactly. Then you got old people coming around and killing people. It was just this show was epic. But no, jumping before we go too far down that Boondocks road. Okay. Um, I believe they already showed some designs for the new series coming. I guess they're rebooting it, and Aaron McGruder is back. Um, I haven't seen too much more about it. That was a couple months ago. That's yeah. super old news. But. We are here to talk about things that we missed out on, such as Bruh. Call of Duty. Call of we've Duty. been we've been trying to talk about Call of Duty for so long. Now, I was staying away from it just because you know me, I I'm a rebel at heart. Um for the weirdest reasons about the weirdest things. But I finally sat down and watched some gameplay for the new Call of Duty, and my very first thoughts that I wasn't even going to say because I didn't want to start an argument uh, was it looked, it reminded me of Battlefield in Rainbow Six. Yeah. I mean, I mean, okay. So I, I, love, would... the, I love the time to kill. Like if I had this big ass gun, it should only take me a couple pops to take you down. Yeah. I shouldn't have to empty a clip to finish you off. Yeah. See, I'm going to tell you, I, I think out of a, a lot of games, Call of Duty always gets, the time to kill down. With, body. Uh, they always get the time to kill down with specific guns, like to the T. It for video game standard standards, because yes. four to five bullets from a submachine gun sounds about right. Three to four bullets, depending on, and then uh, distance as well. Your range actually matters. Yeah, the drop like, off in I this game. Be running around with it. I shouldn't be running around with an MP5 and click killing you. Not only the map. that, remember when you got killed with that? He got destroyed with the pistol and went on a tirade. Bro, bro, <laughs> I think I legit went off for about thirty minutes. I was just because see, this is the thing, folks. Even though I'll talk mess about games, like even y'all heard me talk mess about Destiny, but y'all got to realize there was a time where Destiny was the only game I played. Mm-hmm. Like legit, it. You mean Call of Duty? It. Well, Call of Duty, Destiny, uh-huh. Battlefield. I go on my runs. Yeah, like I'll pick up a game and I'll play it. I'll I have think, my complaints. I think a lot of people can say that they, the long, their longest run was either some type of sports game or Call of Duty. It don't matter yeah. which Call of Duty, just Call of Duty, because like, because we all had that. We all had those moments where it was like Call of Duty, same map, 
new town, same gun set up. I'm running Call of Duty. And then don't get us in a full party of people because now we're oh, really bro. running Call of Duty and we probably won't get off for another eight, six, or six to eight hours. Bro, like, I want to say my longest, like, lo- like consistent run of playing a game would have to the, would have been Destiny. Destiny really? 1. Yeah, because, I mean, in shooter-wise. Because, okay. of course, I keep my 2Ks and random RPGs in rotation. Mm-hmm. But as in shooters, Destiny 1, I was heavy on it. What really? was it? Year two, and, uh, year two and a half through the, yeah, through the announcement below. of 2. Yeah, I yeah. was... Or not, Dark and then Below. when you, I'm talking about uh, uh, the, with Lord Salad and everything, yeah, Rise of Iron, yeah, with Iron Banner and everything. I was hooked. I remember I used to be on the app following, you know, but no, but my point is this game looking at it, it made me happy because you're taking the, it looked like they took the best points of Rainbow Six and Battlefield mm-hmm. and you threw it into Call of Duty, yeah, so you already got the Call of Duty name power. You're gonna sell, yeah. Like it, it's gonna sell. It could have been crap. It could have been polygon, a polygon shooter, yeah, with just b- circles and squares, and it would sell. Because it's Activision Call of Duty. Exactly. Yeah, I. For me, I think you're My right. Is walking around in a tiara and high heels. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. So we um, should be smelling Disneyland. Bro, she, I, I kept hearing this weird like clanking noise and i didn't know what it was uh-huh. and i look out and my daughter's got a tiara on mm-hmm. it's, that, and it's I, that time it is that time jeez and church and crackers but, but no uh, but keep going i'm sorry no i was saying that uh i think you're right i think i like the fact that they went in this direction because they couldn't have did any worse there was some i think or world war ii was pretty bad i think a lot of people will agree with that I think Black Ops 4 was okay to an extent. I think there was great things, great moments in that. I just don't like the fact that we're in 2019 and they take forever to fix problems in the game. Like these things should come out weekly because this is a job for people. Like yeah. you you created this thing that is a job for people. And I watch yeah, I people feed their families. I watch both sides of it. I watch the casual person play it. I watch uh I watch blackout. I watch competitive. So I think it affects a lot of people when there's things, there's game breaking mechanics in the game and they don't take advantage of trying to get that thing sorted out as soon as possible. So I think that's one thing I hope to see with this mo- with this new modern warfare. I do like the fact of it looks in it it looks amazing. I was about to say it looks it and really feel, does. but it looks amazing. Um the record direction of the guns, some of the guns I we were watching from that uh the reveal they did, the game the 4K gameplay that they put out today. Um it reminded me so much of Battlefield. Like mm-hmm. all I see It almost looks like they built it on Frostbite. Hey, could it could be I didn't know I didn't know what they developed it on, but it it legit looked like a frostbite engine game. Yeah, and which ain't a bad thing. No, of course not. But um, they, you know, they did a lot of they did a lot of new. They brought a lot of stuff back. Like I seen people using claymores. There is no pick ten system anymore. Hardcore uh, eight uh, headquarters was one of the featured games in the playlist. They have reviving. In one of the game modes, I think yeah. it's called Cyber Attack. That looked pretty cool. Um, they brought the Juggernaut back, which I'm I'm not really a fan of the Juggernaut uh, because with the Juggernaut, like it, it's for if you're gonna run the Juggernaut, I have to have a specific class for that. Like, oh, Juggernaut deployed. Okay, cool. Let me put on my rocket launchers, and now I'm good. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? I can't. There's you can't kill them with the basic loadout. Um. Especially when they got a Gatling gun. And I think the kill streak based off that, or the amount of kills that it took to get that, was perfect. It wasn't too crazy. Because remember, there is no score streak anymore. It's all kill streaks. So they brought kill streaks back. Which is. Ooh. See, I'm telling you. They so brought, now, it's, now it's straight skill. Exactly. So, because with score streaks, if you could plan it out, you people learned how to like jump in the hill. Then let them jump in the hill, then kill, and then now you're farming those points from people. Mm-hmm. Um, so they brought back a lot of nuances that people I think are gonna like. 
I'm not going to see. I'm not going to say that it's going to be a good game. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until they come out, only because we've been bamboozled before, especially by uh, by uh, in, by Call of Duties in the past. And yeah. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I heard a lot of feedback from. I watched a gang of videos on it, and people talking about how it it does feel. It feels weird, but if you play shooters, it uh feel like a shooter to you. Uh, also, what else did I see in there? Um, you talked about the time the time to kill. Um, I all I always felt that time to kill in Call of Duty was in most most of the time where it should be at. Uh, because a lot of people think they can, can, they see these pros using these types of guns, but they don't realize that you can't shoot this PPASH from a this certain range, you know, from this top of this mountain sniper nest and think you're going to get a kill. No, you're going to get hit markers. Whereas if you're using like a machine gun or something with range, you're going to do the damage. I think the recoil direction in this game, uh, this bring me to my point of the TTK is going to show the true people time who got, to kill. Yeah, the, the time, to, time kill to kill in this game is going. The record direction is going to play hand in hand with the TTK because I think a lot of people we're going to see who truly has gun skill when it comes to fire, getting kills actually with your weapon. Because most of these Call of Duties you play, there's a gun in there that's a laser, like with nothing on it. It is just a laser. Like you don't put nothing on it if any person with thumbs can make this gun shoot laser status type deal. So it just, it looked brand new and I'm, a, I'm excited for it. I'm always excited for a call of duty game. I don't know if I'm going to buy this one though. Understand. Hey, you know me, man, I missed out on everything after, uh, black ops two up until modern warfare or world war two. Damn. Really? So what was that? What was that? Three games. Damn, so you didn't play, you didn't play ghost. Nope, I haven't played Ghost. You didn't play Ghost. I played, um, Advanced Warfare. I, nope, I didn't play. Uh, I don't think I played Black Ops Three either. Damn. Well, Black Ops Three wasn't nothing no grief about. No, but that's but I you know folks. I just want to let y'all know when I say I'm leaving something alone. I'm done. I mean it. Well, he's done. Yeah, like it's it, it's not hard for me. I'll put something down and completely walk away. Yeah, I stand by it. But speaking of putting stuff down, what I need to do Excuse me. is put down cell phone gaming. Um, I as, as easy as it is for me to walk away from stuff, I, I guess I have a minor addictive nature because I picked up a couple of cell phone adventure games, and I'm, I, that's all I've been playing. I haven't turned on my console in Lord knows how long. Um, so clearly streaming has been lit, kaput. <laughs> Uh, but it, uh, I'm, I'm hooked, man. Mm. Like, I don't even know the name of this game I'm playing right now. Let me find it. Yeah, I think you, when it comes to you, if you find something that entertains you, oh, that's it. You're hooked. It don't matter yeah. what it is. Yeah, we were just I'm, talking I'm, about this I'm, off, off, uh, um, before we started recording. Anything catches your attention, you're on it, and you're gonna I'm be on hooked. it for a while until yep. something else flies by your face it could be oh a brand new balloon and you're chasing the balloon yeah i'm i'm very free spirited when it comes to my gaming if if i came across a, a new tetris that caught my eye i'll probably play you that play you know they have a tetris battle royale oh see that's on not, switch that's not, oh good no no <laughs> i didn't even know I, I knew they came out with a new twitch but or a new uh sorry new tetris but i didn't know they um they actually it, it was like a battle royale type deal, which is pretty but, cool. But let me explain to y'all what I've been doing on my cell phone. So there's this game is called They Are Survival. You, you, long story short, you wake up in Russia, and the the map of the game is the entire uh, the entire country of Russia. And you're you wake up, you don't know, you, you don't have any memory. You got to do everything from craft, uh, craft fire. Um, you got to craft places to sleep. You got to craft axes. Uh, you got to start off, and then you build your skills. Then you get to a point in like chemistry where What's you learn. What's the name gunpowder. of it? It's called Day R Survival. It's a it's a hardcore RPG with simulated everything. Like it's straight up simulated. You when you get to battles, all it is is little emblems on maps, and you 
it's basically like RNG. You roll the di- it rolls the dice based on the attack, your per- success percentage, and all that other fun stuff. So, okay. I've been I've dumped an easy fifty plus hours into this game. I mean, Jeez. I'm almost to the point where I can build v- cars. Uh, where the I'm hell going you around find fifty hours at. Exact. Thank you. Thank you. Where did you, you find fifty hours at? Man? Thank you. Thank you. That's barely thank you. Eight hours to, to, to bro eat. Look, look, man. All I know is that game has been eating up any of my free time, and that's the cold part about it. Is I don't have to come in my office and set up to play it. I can literally be in bed playing. Yeah, play it. It. I could be on the couch looking at my kids. So and it's like, accessible. Oh, it's accessible. So, and you would think I'd be playing my Nintendo Switch, but for some reason I'm just hooked on this game, <laughs> bro. Bruh, I'm telling you, you get you get captivated. So I'm oh, not yeah. gonna say so easily. Just but when I do, when you get captivated, it is another story. You yeah, just I'm disappear. sold. Like, dang, what you like, doing, man? Oh, I'm playing. Like, shout game. out, right? Shout out to E. He always says, "Oh, he playing Massive Chalice again." Like there's this game, and I've talked about it before, Massive Chalice. Whenever I catch a, when I get a dry spell on Xbox, and I feel like there's nothing that's catching my eye, I will jump right back to Massive Chalice. Yeah. Matter of fact, I get so caught up in certain RPG games, I keep my Nintendo and 64 hooked up and ready to go for whenever I want to play Ogre Battles, because yeah. that is one of the best games I've ever played in my I life. I just, I just got a, 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 a 64. Oh, what you get? It? What games you get? I didn't get any games with it, but I, I still have my 007. Um, he, uh, this guy gave it to me. He had it. He wasn't doing nothing with it, and he just gave it to me. I'm like, word. All right, cool. So I'm Look, clean run it, it. Up. And you don't want them slappers only, Bruh. or golden gun. You, you don't want that. You don't want them problems. You know, what? I'm not messing with you with no no older gen content. Classic shooter. No, <laughs> I'm not messing with you. Cause, cause low key, cause low key, them, them the ones that it was like, yeah, this is where I'm at. <laughs> if you want it, come get some. Them, them like, is the games. Like yeah, like people would legit be like, "Would you like to come over?" Um, you know, all this talking. Yeah, we don't. It's no more. I, I just remember playing Red Fraction a lot, and the sh- I'm talking about smacking people in, in, in PlayStation Ooh. Two, smacking people, double screen. You can see where I'm at. I'm still beating you up. So red fraction you know, too. That I I wonder how many kids today could actually play split screen shooters. I can't because it's it. hard. It, like now, like trying to do it now, it's hard. No, I can't because like, we're spoiled. I can't even play. I can't even play um, Mario Kart with my daughter. Because it's just we're been, spoiled now. We're so used bro, to having our own screen. Go in your own room. Yeah. <laughs> Like, how about we just connect online? Why do you want to be in here looking at me? <laughs> Can we split the screen? No. And then I play on the 24-inch monitor. No, I'm good. Oh, man. yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not doing that. Man, the good old days. Man, what I was know. your favorite Nintendo 64 game? Ah, uh, man, it has to be uh, GoldenEye, man. That was my shit. That... Ooh, you know what? Let, let's do that. Yeah, keep going. GoldenEye... <sighs> It'll probably be between Goldeneye and uh, uh, Star Fox. Ooh. Man. Star Fox was fun. Star Fox 60. Remember when you would go take the secret route? Yeah. And, like, fight the side boss? And... Man, I had a uh, cousin that every time he lost it, he would pack his shit up and go. <laughs> he would pack his stuff up and be out, out of there. He don't want no like, problems. It's time to go. Like, it's I don't want nothing to do with y'all. Mm-hmm. No, but you know what? Let's go. What's the oldest console you owned growing up? Uh, Let's see. I'm, we I had know a for Super, me, I went back to Sega. We had a, um, we had a, a Sega. Uh, the I remember the, the big body one. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was the big one. It was big as head. So I think I want to say that. If not, so what was your favorite game? Was it Sega? Game Boy? Or are you talking about console? Okay, well, let's the, leave we'll, go, we'll honestly let's go through all of them since we starting this because I seen um I seen something on Twitter that was talking about games that defined a console, like a, like a lot of people were talking about Final Fantasy VII and how when they think of PlayStation One, that's the very first game they go to. Final Fantasy VII. 
Yeah, but for me, it's Metal Gear Solid. That's what I think about. Uh, I would say Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, for me, when it comes to PlayStation, it was Metal Gear Solid. For yeah, sure. it was Metal Gear Solid. Like, Matter of fact, it was Metal Gear Solid. And then, yo, it's this game. I always think about this game because it was the first PlayStation game I played. And basically, I never remember the name. You control a spider. Okay. I'm going to try to find the name of it right now. Um, well, okay, so I'll, I'll go while you're looking for yeah, that. Yeah, go. Cause, so, uh, for Sega, it was um, it would be between Streets of Rage and um, and Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles, I had so much fun playing that yeah. game. Yeah. Um, and then it had like the extender expansion pack where you plug what was it, Sonic Two into Sonic and Knuckles into the like the extra cartridge? Uh, that game was dope. And then for Super Nintendo, it would have had to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. Okay, that game, that game was raw. We used to get together and be beating the snot and going all the way through it on that one. Um, okay, so and then the next- Super Mario World Three, Super Mario Super- World Three was. That was really cool. good. I never beat it, but I had so much fun playing it. Bro, I ain't never beat a Mario. Me neither. I've never beat a Mario. I've Sorry, never folks. beat a Mario. Yeah, don't, without don't cheating or glitching, card. I've never, I've never. Yeah, beat a Mario. oh, I've glitched my way through one. What was it on Super Mario? Uh, where you would jump through the brick at the top and run all the way through? Yeah, and you just run yeah. across the thing. Yeah, you just keep running. I did that one. Okay, um, so real quick, the name of that game was called Spider the Video Game. It was a 2.5D <laughs> platform video game. Uh, it was developed by Boss Gaming, and pretty much uh, you took, uh, you played the role of a cybernetic spider. And uh, it it was for some apparent reason. I don't remember playing it long. I just <laughs> remember that game being the game that I associate PS One with. So every time I think okay. about PS One, I think about that game. But not only that, with you said okay, so you said like the what what games that the defi- the games that define yeah, the console? what game define the console for you? Okay, so if it was if we're talking about PS One, it has to be Crash Bandicoot. I was just thinking about that because um, and they did bring that up. It was Crash Bandicoot, Final Fantasy Seven, and some and yeah. something else. See, because I want the the fanboy in me want to say Metal Gear. But remember, yeah. the game that everybody pretty much got when they got PS1 was Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. So, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure, well, we had we had female girl cousins that were all older than us. And even our sisters were all older than us. So, what happened was we'd get the console and they want to play too. So, Crash Bandicoot was the game that they could, you know, play. And that's the yeah. only game they would play. My cousin, uh, Danielle, that's all she would play. Uh, when we when we had it, so I vividly remember not only the Spider game but the Crash Bandicoot as the the premier game. Um, See for me, for me when it came to the PlayStation One, mine was given to me by one of my older cousins. Okay, and um, so it came like I had like Medieval. Um, Medieval was a great game. Yeah. Rayman. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rayman. Rayman. You can. I remember. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I remember Rayman on the Nintendo 64. Mm-hmm. That was fun. And then uh, what was that other game? Um, PlayStation 1. I know for me, though, Metal Gear Solid was the one game that sticks out the most that I know I played the heck out of. Okay, but is that because you played the heck out of it? Or is that because... Cause that was, like the- was that the first game you got? I want to say it was, man. I want to yeah. say... Because I remember the PlayStation 1 was the one console that I remember vividly where I didn't go to the store and buy a lot of games for. Okay. It, but Sega, I remember buying Street Fighter 2. I remember um, yeah, going to right. get Sonic and Knuckles. Um, I remember like I remember all of that. But for, the, for some reason, when it comes to the PlayStation, that's the one console where the only game I can truly remember me playing. Like, I didn't even play many Final Fantasy games until uh, PlayStation 2. You're going to be mad at me. I've never really played Final Fantasy games. No, I'm not. No, you know, unless somebody 
heavily introduce it to you. Like, you know, shout out, uh, shout out to my uncle Anthony. You know, he um, he really is the one who introduced me in the role playing games. Okay. Uh, he he introduced me to Ogre Battle sixty four, and, and when I for me to jump into that level of role playing, you had to build your units. Then your units you get to place in uh, certain formations. Then you got to take those units and you go to battlefield and they rank up based on who got attacks. Then you can buy items for specific soldiers. Mm -hmm. Then you get this uh, character class, depending on what you boost. Getting as a kid being introduced to that level of RPG, that hooked me on all aspects of it. It had to. Yeah. Because I like growing up, I didn't play like Baldur's Gate or um, I didn't play Final Fantasy much until playstation 2 um i'm trying to think of and then pokemon of course what people don't realize pokemon is one of the biggest rpg games if you didn't know now you know pokemon is a rpg game you go around you collect stuff you're you're grinding to boost your stats like it is hardcore rpg yeah it is i don't and, understand who pe- why people can't think of you know who wouldn't think of it as a rpg and fantasy football is just Dungeons and Dragons with real life people. Okay, so you see how we're sitting here talking about Saturn, uh, <laughs> Sega, right? And, and yeah. folks, he's 100% correct. <laughs> so, um, take it from us. Please just take it from us. Um, all right, so you see how we're talking about Segas, right? Uh, yeah. So I, the, I vividly remember my first Sega being the Genesis, right? Mm-hmm. And remember I was saying it was big. It, I, I didn't want to confuse it with the... Um, what you had the Sega Saturn, with the I didn't want to confuse it with the Sega Saturn, but the Sega I had the Sega Genesis. The only reason why I remember this Sega, uh, the Sega Genesis, so vividly because I remember we broke it, and Ooh. then we got the Sega Genesis Three. That was the smaller oh, version oh, of it. Oh, got you. And I, re- I remember we, what we used to do is we we tried to beat this Sonic, and and my cousin Oscar can attest to this. We tried to beat this Sonic so many times. I'm talking legitly to the point where we mastered getting up to the boss. You, it was. Uh, I want to say it was Sonic the Hedgehog two, but where you got tails to carry you around. Yeah, or so yeah, t- tails will follow you, and literally we got we would get up to the boss with all our lives, all our continue, all our continues, and we get up to the Metal Sonic because that. I'm spoiler alert. If anybody has never done it before, right. you get up to the Metal Sonic and then you have to beat him. So what we would do is we would we would hammer through the game, get all the way up to him, and when it was time for us to go to bed, we would turn the TV off <laughs> and leave the system. Now our system wasn't the best, so we would like shove it in the corner and like don't touch it, try to hide it, put chairs uh-huh. over it and, and stuff. And um, we, from my recollection, we could never beat it. I never could mm-hmm. beat it until I did it on a, a, a emulator. I, I used oh, and man. I used cheats to do it. I'm not going to even front. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't gonna, not going to try to figure out all them patterns. Allegedly, all no, <laughs> no. I cheated. I'm not going. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the emulator. No. Oh yeah, allegedly. Hey, man. <laughs> hey no, can't catch hey, me now. <laughs> Hey, ain't it funny how they be like marketing emulators, systems, and stuff on yeah. uh, Facebook? I'm like, like all this copyrighted stuff, and they're like, yeah, just come buy it. I don't think people, I don't think they care, care that much. Mm-mm. Because if they cared that much, then it'll be. A, I was listening, I was watching a guy talk about like how, um, like you would assume that older consoles, older consoles in pristine like conditions. Like what we're talking about, Sega Genesis threes and all of this stuff would be thousands of dollars. Nope. They're not. No, people don't care. Exactly. So it's like, all right, cool. Whatever. Like one, <laughs> one thing I like about where we live, um, down this way, it's uh we got a lot of stores that are um that have like we got a record store, like mm-hmm. full blown legit record store where you can go buy new up to date records and dig through crates to find old ones. Yeah. Then we also got a skate shop that doubles as a video game store. Like you can go in there and get unopened Sega games. You can go in there and get full blown consoles. They even have those uh, those transition consoles that 
where you just shift it and it'll play Super Nintendo, Nintendo. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Like, they sell everything in there and skateboards. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I found it because I was looking for some trucks or something for my longboard, which I don't ride anymore, folks. So, yeah. Um, don't ask no questions. <laughs> yeah, I really don't. I, I, sh I legit used to be cruising around Bro, campus. You did a lot of stuff that just was... Like he is he yeah. on a skateboard? Nah, man, I'm on the longboard. Yeah, and then I, it just was gone one day. <laughs> yeah, I just I really do go through phases, man. I'm a free bird. No, yeah. <laughs> so, but did you have? Did you no. ever get the Game Gear? Yes, and I, I played the heck out of Tasmanian Devil game. Mm -hmm. That game was dope, and then the Animaniacs game. Animaniac, oh, that game was dope. That game was dope. That game was dope. Yes. yes. There was a lot of dope games on the on the um, Game Gear. Yeah, and now that we sit here and think about it, I kind of it looked good too. Yeah, man, I remember that game being fire. That was yeah. I miss those days, but I don't miss those days because the frustration. Like as a kid, you yeah, don't know what rage. Hard. You don't know what rage is as a kid, but as an adult, I rage. Like I don't throw my stuff rage. But I cuss but, and then I'll put it down and walk away from exactly. Years. So, like uh, folks, I've walked away from every last Dark Souls. I own all of them, bro. You've never beat Dark Souls. Well, don't talk like you have. No, I I want to try it one day. I want to try it. Oh like no! On... Hey, when you when you're ready to jump back on, I will legit boot it up and start and over. Recording. Go. I will legit start over. I will. Matter of fact, it's funny. I've been thinking about starting over on Dark Souls, mm -hmm. but first I gotta finish Days Gone. I already got like twenty hours in. No, hey, well, I'm a no. I enjoy it, <laughs> but you know what my problem is with it. I'm doing all the side stuff. You ain't gonna I'm beat it, this. <laughs> ain't gonna beat it. I know. I know. I'm sitting here like, bro. I'm clearing out camps before they tell me to. I'm getting a commission accomplishments before I even am supposed hey, to. Hey. Did you beat the did you did you beat Assassin's Creed yet? Okay then. So why are you playing that? Why are you doing that to people? Nobody wants to see you stream the game and not complete the game. What is going on? <laughs> you know why you gotta be so disrespectful. I'm just saying, uh -oh. man. And then the game wasn't what we they shouldn't have pushed it back so many dang times and then give us that. Ah oh, man. Oh okay, <sighs> look. What don't okay, so I'm one thing I don't like about the game. I'll talk about the dislikes verse. Mm -hmm. I usually do that whenever I'm talking about a game. Uh the movements feel clunky. I feel kind of tankish. Uh the way I move. It reminds me of like borderline old school Tomb Raider. But there's something about Sony games. The movement is always like, even though they're great, they're yeah. great games, but it just feels tankish. Yeah. Like almost like my guy's too heavy for the controller. Like, I don't know if that makes any sense. For yeah. those who get it, you'll know what I mean. Um, not like a dry lag heavy, but it just, like, I, it shouldn't be that, I shouldn't have to move that far to do to turn left. Make those actions. Yeah, and then exactly. all their game sensitivities is always different. It's always different. Yeah, yeah. Like, you think, um, oh, yeah, I always play on four or five. No, you you have to adjust. You're going to um, be playing on three or seven one game. It's crazy, right? They can't get it right. And the, but besides that, um, no, I actually really... You should be telling us what you like about the game. Tell me well, all no, that's what your... I'm about to jump into. Okay, tell me all your likes. So, what I love about it is there's plenty to do. I do feel like I got it? my money's worth. Do you love it? Because you said you loved it. You got to pick your words right. Do you actually okay, love I it? Okay, really I really enjoy playing it. All right. Okay. Um, there's plenty to do. Okay. Shooting the gun feels legit. Okay. Um, and then when I get in a good vibe, I feel like the ultimate sniper killer, because I'm running through, like sneaking up, killing people with headshots, silencers, taking off my silencer, getting loud, setting traps, mm -hmm. like running up on people sideways. Like if I feel like a secret agent running through somebody's base. Okay. So. Um, go ahead. And then I love the fact that you. Hey, you can get you scared the heck out of me. You can get active and you can go live and just start shooting people like crazy, or you can play stealth. Okay, there's so many ways to play, but you know me, I usually always play stealth. Mm -hmm. Pistol You're really and gonna sniper make noise, rifle. aren't you? Pistol and a sniper oh. rifle. Okay, so now oh. answer this question. Um, yeah. with, with Daisy, 
when you watch the 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 trailer or the 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 gameplay that w- that came out years before the game you came out. Mommy? When you Oh, my bad. I had No, you good. Message. You good. Um when you watch the uh the gameplay footage that came out at uh I think that was, was that E3? That it was like E3 a couple years ago. Okay. Where you see the dude running from all of the zombies and jumping over this and you know tunneling them that do you feel like you can do that in this final build? Okay. Now that's one thing I will that's a complaint that I do have okay. is the hordes don't feel like how hordage. they promoted it. How did they promote it? I will say that. Now I assumed it's because I've been doing so much side quests that I haven't got to like the real hordes. No, nah, I've went through two hordes already, and they're not. They're n- maybe I'm not playing the game right, yeah. but uh, they're not what they promoted. I thought it was going to be like hundreds, and even though I got to be honest, what did I expect the game to really do? Like this is a place. I'm not dissing PlayStation, Bro, but I'm just saying. Period. I like, expected it. I mean, okay, to be what they told us. Yeah. I expected it. I expected to see some type of action like what they showed us. Like when yeah. you watch that reveal, it that looked epic. You tell me I yeah. can slide under this thing, toss a little frag here, roll over here, jump over that, funnel them in this little area, light off until I see another group coming behind me. Like that looked amazing. Yeah. But it when did. you get the final build, this is the same problem Anthem have. I will forever bash yeah. Anthem. Um, oh, bro. I knew, man, I'm so grateful that I took the time to play the beta because I, as soon as I played it, I was like, oh, this is going to be trash. Man, I'm telling and you. And the only, only reason it was trash is because of what they promised. Man, when, you, when, my, when my anthem suit can fly underwater and I can't kill a whale, a crocodile. Yeah. You telling me, you telling me with all these creatures in the world on land, ain't There's none of them from water? There's nothing water for me to fight. Then Even dinosaurs was in the water. Yeah, like why add it? Like that was it was very unnecessary. Uh, I wonder. I wonder for those who are playing Anthem, what do y'all think? It's only three hundred. He said it's only three people. playing. It's only three three hundred and eighty people playing. I just checked yesterday. There's three hundred only three hundred and eighty people running Anthem. Triple A right title. Now. Triple A title. That last night around this time, me and a buddy was having an argument on it, and I said, "Okay, let let's let Twitch uh, solidify this." Went to Twitch, 380. Matter of fact, if you could give me a second, wow. I'll tell you how many people play. <laughs> and it's later in the day. It's 8 o'clock. So it's 11 o'clock on the East Coast right now. Wow. So if you want to give me a second, I most definitely can find out where's Anthem at today. Because this is it's crazy, ain't it? That's depressing. Yes, it is. No, and, and, and you know what's so bad about it? I hate that these big companies, instead of spending money into the little stuff on their games and the mechanics, they spend on marketing. 376 people are playing this game. The top wow. streamer has 147 viewers. And they just came wow. out with another update. And then I've seen an article from March 3rd. Bioware bans the only streamer still playing Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bro! Oh, boy, and then I've seen another video that says Anthem's player base is gone. Mm-hmm. I need you to go. Yeah, I, I, like I said, man. People, I'm not only am I a Destiny fan, and this doesn't people. I think a lot of people get that misconstrued. Like, I want these games to be good. We want them to win. I want we these games to win. Them. But when I see the mistakes from a mile away, <clears throat> yeah. Look at the division. I thought the division. I thought the way they came out with it. The only thing I didn't agree with was the timeline, which is the same thing I didn't agree with the timeline on uh, Anthem. <clears throat> the division viewer base right now, as we're speaking, has four hundred and twenty-eight viewers watching. Now this isn't playing. This is watching numbers we're giving you. But Twitch is the only way that me. I have access to f- to feel out where the community is at, and that's a safe it's a safe bet right now. You know, so four hundred. You telling me four hundred twenty eight people are only are watching Division Two? That's a triple A title game. That's sad. Come on, that's 
Do you know how bad that is? That's there, horrible. I've, I've probably met more people playing Battlefield uh, Battlefield 1. You like, did. <laughs> I know you did. But, like, that. that's... Ooh. That... Ah, man. And you know what? I don't know what it was about the Division 2 that didn't grab me. You know what? You know what? There wasn't enough constant fresh players. I feel like they should have released it during the holidays. Yeah, I mean, but even with the holiday release, it's just there. They still had problems with the gear in the game and acquiring high end gear in the game. That still was a big issue. Not only that, yeah. you give this a long, super long time. You you telling me I get I'm it's gonna take me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. I have a sound in my thing. You mean to tell me it's going to take me a month to gear up for a raid or you're just holding it for a month? Bro. Yeah. People are going to grind the mess out of this game. It was yeah, a gang of division people that went. And then you create this raid that nobody can beat, which I did love. Nobody could beat it on console until weeks out. But the first team to beat it was like hours after. I'm used to stuff like that, right? Yeah, which but is you don't get like none, you said, a good thing. Yeah, I don't want the first thing I had to wait a month for to be easy. None of these people got nothing epic. There wait, was what? You see what I'm saying? Like the loot system is wild crazy. And that would have made me quit playing the game, bro. And I'm t- and I'm a de- you t- you can attest to this as a Destiny player from year one day one. You know what it's like to grind for gear and not be able to get the stuff you need to progress through the game because we played D1 heavy faithfully. I'm talking about Zer 2 o'clock in the morning days. People forget about that. People see yep. Zer 10 o'clock in the morning now on a Friday. Wait, 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 what were those things that they took away but then came back? Uh, co- uh What was it? Three of Coins? Oh, yes, the Three of Coins. Hey, and that, I and remember that came, buying and that, a bunch, and then it came back. I was like, I'm not getting rid of these. Mm-hmm, yeah. And then when they didn't delete it out of my inventory, I was like, nope, it's coming back. Exactly. Like, let me just load up. And then they brought them back. Them. Yep. And then people had them. So, I, which I think something like that is cool to be in the game. I just think they should be rare. Yes. Because if, if those are, if they're rare, but... Uh, but if they're rarer than an exotic, but less rare than a blue Ingram, you're telling me if I get this piece of thing that's going to get me an exotic, I feel like once you get it, it should guarantee you an exotic, like a okay. random road exotic. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> which I agree, because what was the point of offering it to me? Yeah, see, and then the issue, the issue still stands today. This was one of the issues in D2 year one. Oh, Everybody has all of the exotics. It doesn't feel good to get exotics anymore because you're going to get it. In a week, you can max out on all exotics. There was a yep. thing people were using. People were popping these things in uh, these Vanguard boots. And the Vanguard boots tells you at the bottom of the screen what you're going to be rewarded at the bottom of the match, at the end of the match. So you'll pop it. And if you go into your inventory, say me and you are in the game, I'll go into my inventory, you stay in the game, and I'll pop it at the bottom right of the screen and it'll say, at the end of this, you're going to be rewarded a exotic or a legendary or a pack of tokens. Once it doesn't say exotic, okay, back out, start it over again. Until it says exotic, that's how a gang of people were getting their exotics. It was crazy, man. So... I know I didn't want to. Talk, I, I for sure didn't want to talk about Destiny, but we kind of yeah, went but, on this, ta- this tangent of, you know, these AAA title games. And this and this is the thing. Like, and I kind of want to jump back to the other, uh, to going back over the consoles before we completely move on. Um, I I just hate how much money is spent on convincing us to buy the game mm-hmm. instead of putting it into the game to make us want to buy it. Yeah, like. Okay, for example, we'll no, I'm gonna jump off Destiny. We'll use Anthem. They hyped up so much in the commercials and the the closed gameplay loops with the actors who aren't really playing. I hate when game companies please stop doing that. Please stop doing the gameplay with the actors and they're sitting there like, Yeah, come this way. Oh, what is that? 
oh, that's awesome. Use the new weapon you found. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay. Like, come on, man. It, it sounds worse than, like, <laughs> oh. it, it sounds like a bad infomercial. Like, why Why wouldn't you just, but but then they won't have live gameplay. They won't have people stand up there and just play. Yeah. that That's when you know something's legit. Like, just get five people out the crowd and say, come have fun. That's the only way you're going to believe it. Mm-hmm. Like these, I'm telling you, like even you can even go, you can use Stadia as an example. You can use all these things as an example. When yep. I'm watching a developer play or it, I don't I, see the person cool. play it, but I see gameplay on the screen, I don't believe it. I don't yep. believe none of that because that's a controlled environment. Let pick five people randomly out the crowd, give them a T-shirt, a lanyard and say, come play this game and let the world see what this game is about. Because it's raw. It's giving you what it is. I can exactly. get these, these opinions from these people and know if I want to spend my money on it or not. But I know, I feel like they know when they're cutting corners. You know? Yeah. When I see more when I see more uh, money spent on advertisement than actual game mechanics, like, um, okay, D, uh, Destiny 2 when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Anthem. Uh, the Division 2. When I see all this money being spent on marketing, yes, I understand that you need marketing to sell games, but not really. Yeah. Not these days. Like we don't I don't need a bunch of TV commercials telling me to buy Destiny. Yeah. You Kids, don't. you don't you don't need that anymore. Everybody is taking in information a million different ways. We got YouTube, make a couple of commercials, throw some game. I would rather a game come out strictly on gameplay reveals. Mm-hmm. Don't give me no commercials. Just give me nothing but gameplay trailers. Yeah. Like, oh, here's you shooting. Here's you walking around. Here's you collecting items. Here's you. Like, I would truly like to see somebody take that marketing strategy. Actually, the closest thing to that recently would be Fallout 4. And that was because of the short window. Yeah. They announced it. They announced it at E3 and it came out like three months, four months later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's these. I think some of them are cool with the live action play, but it got a it it has to resonate well with the actual True. gameplay. You could put all of that animated CGI stuff all day. People still don't play your game. Go ahead and come out with a Netflix series and stop playing, bro. They need they they they're doing well on the books. Yeah. Oh I'm yeah. A, I need to get the first one. What? I pre ordered the second one. But, if but you, I legit need that. Uh, I need that uh, Netflix series because those little commercials are dope, bro. Yeah, even but see, what's crazy about it? Even Easter eggs inside the game is hilarious. Like some of the characters that they've built up, like Eris Morn, they're building her up again. She's coming back, and mm. her character is so like wishy washy. You don't know what she's doing or how she's doing we do know it was explained to us that she's the reason for the nightmares so she did something to cause shadow keep what we're getting into now or what we're going to get into in uh in october which they pushed back see we didn't even talk about that they pushed back oh word yeah they pushed it back two weeks and would you believe this is the first time the very first time bungie has pushed back destiny well, this is the first time they made a major decision without Activision. Because they don't have Activision. Yeah. And I like that. Look, I'm okay with things needing to be fixed. Mm-hmm. Don't come out day one. First off, don't come out hyping me up. Hyping me up with what's going to happen, what's going to be. And then I get there, oh, that's going to come out in a couple weeks. I'm te- Sorry about that. I'm telling you, with, this is my last thing on Destiny because uh, I think we're killing it. Um, yeah, we really are. I think with Destiny... They, um, I think where they mess, where they, where they win over people at is that they communicate. They have these Twitters, yes. they have these Reddit posts. People can go there and explain their, their position on certain things. And then they can, they'll go back, they'll re- respond to it and say, Hey, we'll tell the team about this. We'll take a look and we'll see, you know, if more people says this or that about it, then we'll go ahead and make the proper adjustments or blase, blase, whatever, whatever. So yeah. we, um, you know, with that, that always eased something in the back of my mind. It always did. And that's why I was always cool with it. I never had an issue with Destiny, even to this day. You know me. 
I play it every day. Yeah. So. Facts. Yeah. I'm, you know, we'll we'll talk a lot. The next time we talk about Destiny, it will be Shadow Keep. Okay. So we'll we'll do our best. You hear that, folks? We're gonna do our best to leave Destiny alone. Yeah. Because that's all we talk about for that's some random reason. T- I don't. But know but no. But <laughs> let's before we run out of time. Let's hit the let's hit the points. So Sega Genesis. What game comes to mind for you? Uh. So you say Sega. I'm gonna say Sonic. Okay. When it comes to Super Nintendo, what game? Mario. Okay, which one? Uh, I know for me it was like Super Mario World. Super Mario World was cool, but I, I feel like there's something. No, no, it is Super Mario World. It is super. It has to be Super Mario World. Um. Now, and for me, it would have to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. That yeah. game was life. Super. Mario. Uh, Super Mario World. I can't believe we're forgetting Kirk, uh, Kirby. I never played Kirby like that. You never played? Oh, well, you never played it like that. Yeah, just being real. Never. Uh-uh. I had more fun. Uh, put it like this. I had more fun playing Kirby than I did having playing I played. I Kong. played Kirby on Game Boy, and it was a lot of fun. Fight On Game Boy Advance, remember, I remember always getting to fight Meta Knight, uh-huh. and I thought that was the dopest thing ever. Bruh. Oh, it was so dope fighting Meta Knight. Bruh. One of my favorite games, uh, uh, Mega Man. Ooh, my, Mega Man is on my top. I was top trash five. at Mega Man. Really? I was trash at Mega it. That Man. was Dark Souls for me, of that era. <laughs> Mega Man. Was I was top five. so garbage at Mega Man. Mega I don't Man. think. I think the closest, the one Mega Man I got far in, was Mega Man X Zero, where you got to play as Zero. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And you got to add different equipment, different swords, different guns. That's probably, but look, RPG element. Mm-hmm. That was probably the most like time I put into a um, a Mega Man game. So did you I play remember. Zelda? Huh? Did you play Zelda? Yeah. That okay. I was gonna say when it came to Nintendo sixty four. Um, but oh, see, Zelda. I didn't really get into Zelda until uh, Nintendo sixty four. Okay. Or Karina at the time. Um, yeah. Or Karina at the time. We, we really huh? are forgetting Mortal Kombat. We forget a gang of games, but I no, we're me, not. We're not forgetting. That's why I said whatever pops out to you. For me, fighting games were cool. Yeah. But I was more. Um, I was more platformer. Yeah. Um, platformer. Uh, so I'm trying to think of all the games I really played. So PlayStation One for me would be Metal Gear Solid. That just sticks out. Um, Sega, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, then uh, Super Nintendo. It was, um, it was, um, I just said it Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ninja, Love yeah. the heck out of that game. They had a dope Power Ranger game too. That game was fire. Um, I remember that crap. And then, um, when it came to, I'm trying to think what came after that. Well, we'll, we'll just jump around. How so, about, Nintendo 6. Hmm? How about? Oh, okay. Nintendo 64, the first game that come out to you is what? Orca Battle 64. Okay, mine's is Even though Orca Arena of Time was like the game for me mm-hmm. and then Goldeneye, Goldeneye, but the one like the one that I still own and if I showed y'all, I got my dang Nintendo 64 hooked up right now. It has Ogre Battle 64 in there ready to go. Yeah. Like I oh, even keep sure a small do. old TV just so I can play it. Play that. They got an adapter for those games now that you can connect them to that. HDMI and it's no I lag. I don't know that. Hey, bro, when when speedrunner's telling me it's giving me the input that I need, then I know it's legit. I don't know that. Stupid. <laughs> Go deny. Uh, Mario 64 was pretty cool. Okay, yeah. so where we go next? From 64, uh, it has to be Dreamcast, ooh. right? Yeah, I was about to say, go to Dreamcast. It what, has to be Dreamcast. Okay, so now, just not games was fun, but what game comes to mind when I say Dreamcast? What game comes to mind? Um, Sonic Director's Cut. What was it? Sonic Adventures, and then uh, Power Stone. Okay, Sonic Adventures. You know what game comes to mind for me? Berserk, Berserker. Ooh, Berserk. And Jet Set Radio Future. Oh, I can't believe I forgot Jet Set Radio Future. <laughs> Forgive me. Jet Set Forgive Radio me. I am Future not worthy. Was what I actually the... had the DJ. He's he's real dope on social media. Uh-huh. The guy who plays uh who plays the DJ, he he's like real active on social media still. He runs like playlists 
with that type of music and everything. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, Jet Set Radio, Future, Power Stone, and Sonic DX. Mm-hmm. That are Sonic Adventures, bro. Sonic Adventures when I when you go Super Saiyan, Super Sonic, epic. But yeah. no, okay. So what would be the next one? Um, After Dreamcast, it gotta be Xbox, right? Yeah. Um, you Ooh. know what it stands Ooh. out for me? I'm gonna throw Moral. everybody for a loop. Which one? Elder Scrolls Morrowind. Oh, that's what's the Blade. <laughs> oh, that game Blade. was wrong. Blade was the shit. <laughs> Blade was the shit, man. Blade. Look, we're not even talking about Halo. We're just we're no, legit. No. Halo was there. Halo was there. Yeah. But Blade. Yeah. I mean, because uh, let's be real. A lot of people's other than well, I'm not going to use those because those were split screen. People's uh-huh. first interaction with a a arena shooter type shooter was Halo. Let's oh, be, on console. Yes, on like, console, yeah. online type deal was Halo. It has to be Halo. So that game was man. Halo was pretty. I remember fun. Halo Two. Halo Two was uh, dope. Because Halo Two did Halo Two come out on Xbox? I uh, let me. I think it. Did. Yes, it did. It came out for Xbox yeah. in 2004. Yeah, I remember getting my Xbox, and then the first game that came with it was Halo 2. Yeah. And I ran the hell out of Halo 2. See, we got, uh, we got, um, when we first got our Xbox, we got Blade, and we got um, Blade and Mortal Kombat. Deadly ooh. Alliance. Deadly Alliance was dope. Deadly ooh. Alliance was dope. You know what? I just thought about with my Xbox, uh, I mean, my Nintendo 64. I was being real, real disrespectful. Mortal Kombat Trilogy was the shit. Oh, yeah. But I was never good at I was never good at that. I, Mortal Kombat. I, was, I was never good either, but I owned it and I just loved having fun. Whoopsies. Yeah. Like that. Oh, bro. <laughs> what did it go? Down threes? I even tried oh. to learn the technical aspect of it to be good at that game. But I remember playing my sister because my sisters grew up playing that in Jamaica. So Got they you. would know the combos. My sister, my sister, um, my sister, Loki, one of my sisters is Loki, a gamer. She showed me Got how to you. play Pokemon. She showed me about combos. <laughs> she, she Loki, a gamer at heart. I'm not going for it. <laughs> Dang. But yeah. Okay. I, let. Oh, we're damn. We're hitting time. Um. Yeah. Let me get. Let's. Okay. So we. Let's do PlayStation, PlayStation and PlayStation 2. two. So PlayStation Two. Okay, all right. So because we we basically did PlayStation. So yeah, PlayStation, we did PlayStation. PlayStation, oh, PlayStation two, two. I'm I'm going to confuse a lot of people with mine. Uh, what are you going to say with yours? What's yours? The Warriors. Ooh, see that was that was one of Rockstar's best games. The Warriors, hands down. Yeah, Super. he played the fun, but the Warriors. Okay, <laughs> now now, was the Warriors better than Bully? Taking taking Grand Theft Auto out of the game, to me, I enjoyed the Warriors more than Bully. Bully was Grand Theft Auto for at a, at a high school scale. Okay, but now answer this question: If the Warriors didn't have a movie, would you feel the same way? Yes, really? the fighting felt so legit, bro. Bully was I legit dope, though. You would be <laughs> running down the block, somebody would be in your neighborhood, and they you catch them tagging. You could run up and spear tackle somebody, and then you'll be jumping somebody, and then somebody will throw a bottle from across the screen, crack you over the head, Bruh. and then you get drop kicked and power punched. That's punch. a tough like, one, man. That's a tough. Then one you got me. handcuffs, so you could cuff people and stomp them out, bro. <laughs> That's bro. a tough one for me because I love Bully. Bully was Bully was dope. Oh, look, dope. I'm not. No, no, no. Hear me out. I love Bully. I love Grand Theft Auto. I love because what was it GTA three that was on PlayStation two? Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, like arguably I love these games. the best GTA. Arguably, we that that's an argument for the ages. We should we should have that. Not even an argument, a conversation to have. The mm. best Grand Theft Auto. Huh. Taking Ooh, Grand Theft Auto we'll five we'll out do of that the another questions. episode. Yeah, we're already over time. Oh, I'm cool. Listen, last thing I would say for me, PlayStation two was SoCom. SOCOM 2. SOCOM 2 
because that was my first real introduction into online gaming. Mm. And shout out Ooh. to the big bro X X Plus. Leader. X. Uh, he the uh, he's the one that set it all up. I remember him being in the military and coming to our house with four or five PlayStations just so we play. He put me on to so many games. It's crazy. I'm talking about Land Ages of Empire on all of our laptops. We got laptops yeah, for school. Yeah. He came, put Ages of Empires on our laptop, and we would all go to different rooms and fight against each other. It was amazing. Yes. Them days was crazy. So, yeah. SOCOM Confrontation. Or I'm not, not SOCOM Confrontation. That was PlayStation 3. SOCOM 2 on PlayStation 2 was the sh- I'm talking about 12 hours of gameplay. I'm talking about Ethernet cables strung out through the house. The good old Everybody days. needs to be connected to the router. Hey. The good old days, bro. Man. Dang. So I'm trying to think. See, for me, I didn't get into heavy online gaming until Xbox 360. Okay. Which but, a lot of people did. But I did a lot of PC gaming. Like I didn't realize how much PC gaming I was doing. Mm-hmm. We used to go to internet cafes. Um, me, Anthony, my other cousin Jamerson, like we was really um, out there doing it. Yeah, we was really out there like playing Diablo 2. I played a lot of Diablo. Bruh. A lot of RuneScape. Um RuneScape, Diablo, Diablo 2. That is um, a series we've talked about. We've talked about jump randomly, me and you jumping into one of these these uh RPG MMO whatever, anyone of them. Mm-hmm. I know we talked about World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft which would be dope. But one when day, I get my PC together, bro, we can run that. I know. That would actually just, be Because literally, it's just us playing it. So Yeah, that would actually be a lot of fun. But I just I know I need to get my get my uh, PC life in order. Mm-hmm, me too, man. I, I think once I get a PC, I'm strictly PC. Like, I'm only buying exclusives. I have to, Look. man. I have to. I just have to. It, PC is meta. It is the meta right now. Like... If and then that's another thing too. I don't have any friends, so that kind of scares me. But the way they're doing these video games with these cross platform or these cross platform. Oh yeah, if you're running cross platform and you're not running PC, you're losing auto- automatically. Modern Warfare is cross uh, cross play. Just so you. The whole game. Modern Warfare. Is Are they going to be doing like we, no, we don't see? We don't, we don't really. Hi, right, folks. Warfare. All right, guys. No, no. Before I go, no, you cannot. Be running regular servers with PC, oh. mouse and keyboard, and controller people. You cannot. Fortnite does just not. Hey, when they announced that six people at the world at the World Cup ran controllers and hung with them people, then it must be. But but you also got to remember that people forget that controller players have an advantage because of aim assist. Most games yes. don't give yes. mouse and keyboard aim assist. Yeah, because you don't need it. Because I can flick my mouse three like three centimeters, and I'm already across the screen. Okay, so hold on. Let me let me read it. This is from uh, this is the last thing we'll touch on. This was from Polygon. Yeah, we're out, we're out. We're done, it says uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare will have cr- a console, PC crossplay. Won't have season pass. Um, no oh, season pass. Yeah, but, you know they trying to they trying to catch on up to the. To the you know to the masses, sweet baby Jesus. They might as well. Um, where is it at? Uh, I'm trying. Okay, so it says this is a quote. All right, Call of Duty Modern Warfare or no Call of Duty Modern Warfare Infinity Wars reimagining of a modern military shooter franchise will have two big very changes this year. Game will feature cross play support for multiplayer on PS4. Windows PC and Xbox One and won't have a traditional season pass. With the launch of Modern Warfare, the team is taking steps to unite the community. Infinity Ward said in a statement, first the team plans plans for Modern Warfare to be played together across PC and console through cross play support. Now I'm gonna wow. stop right there because that's it. Um Okay, two reasons. Because I didn't really get to touch on this. This is one of the topics. This will be the last topic. The reason why they're doing this is because there's speculation that competitive Call of Duty will be moving to PC. 
That is a speculation Ooh. that it will be moving to PC. Now, the beauty of that is uncapped frame rate. You got to think about that because on console, you're capped at a max frame rate, whereas most True. games, you're not. You can play Destiny at 144. Uh, you can go high. Some of these games are ridiculous, like my eyes hurt watching it. So um, that's the speculation. The speculation is that they will be using controller, but it will be PC. So that is why that's there. For three, or second thing, I think that they will have cross-play support, but you will be able to turn it on and off. I think Fortnite does that, and I think that's where they kind of got it from. They should have that in the game. If not, people like you, me, who understand the difference between mouse and keyboard and controller probably won't be playing as much online as you think. So, Yeah, because it's going to be Smack City. Exactly. So... Um, yeah, man. Folks, there we go. Look, check all the links below. We ran over a little bit, but we're and just hot, excited bro. to be here. And yeah, it's hot in here. Uh, I just can't wait for summer to be over. Me too. Whoever, man. you know, maybe it's because I'm in Southern California and I'm I got the sun trying to kill me year round. But you know, I know some people who get really excited for summer. I don't. I, I really I, don't. I like the cold. I like hoodies. Yeah, but see, we spoiled. We're spoiled. Our our cold is like some people's hot day. <laughs> like, so I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and uh I'm not gonna try to brag on that or complain too much, but I just know the sun summer needs to stop. Mm-hmm. Um all right, folks. Well, Baron J67, that's gonna shout be- out to Tone Def Network, uh, shout out to Nerds Noir, shout out to Everybody, man, Everybody. I love you guys. I really do we appreciate do. all y'all for supporting and watching I really and listening. Thank you guys for tuning in and listening to us to Babble. We won't yeah, be talking cause... about Destiny until Shadow Keep. Yeah, so we're gonna have like a little buzz button or something every time we get ready to say eh. Destiny. But like, buzz a little. Eh. Or, or I'll do the whole hand kill. Like, oh, I'm about to buzz. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> every time circle. Destiny. Oh, Full circle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Full well, circle, check out the man. links below. Tone, you're the best. Tone. Tone Dev Network. Socially awkward. Uh, it's funny. We uh, gotta get Tone on here again. Because I'm here. I'm back. And we gotta talk about <laughs> Destiny. So we'll get him on for Shadow Keep. Oh, yeah. Because I know he plays Destiny. Yeah, he's a heavy Destiny player. Putting his business out there. Mm-hmm. All right, folks. Peace.